Well, folks in the Northeast, they could be getting a new creepy crawling neighbor. Oh, no, I don't want to look at oh. the screen here, but take a look <laughs> at the Juro spider. It's native to Japan and Southeast Asia, but found its way to Georgia. Now, I just came from Georgia, and thankfully I didn't see any of these, but a new study says these invasive arachnids could soon make their way farther north. And joining us now is Benjamin Frick, co-author of the study, who says these spiders are nothing to fear. Benjamin, I like your positive go get them attitude, but I gotta tell you, I'm a little freaked out. So I'm hopefully after our conversation, all my fears are you know, set to bed on this one. Hey, uh, thanks for having me. And you know, as scary as they look, they really aren't anything to be afraid of. Um, and you might see a lot of them in the future, but you know, they're really not going to be anything more than a nuisance. So uh, I do my best to stay positive. So, Benjamin, how did they get here? I mean, for a spider that's not native to our country and it's so large, I mean, it's nothing it like is. what I've seen here in America. How did they get here? So they probably came here from southeastern Asia, uh, Japan, Taiwan, uh, southeastern China, anything around that region, probably through a shipping container. Um, Athens is a big transport hub, so it likely just came in through uh, maybe Savannah um, and then got shipped up to this region. Um, and the spiders since then have proliferated. They've sort of spread around the region. Um, but it's hard to say exactly what was the first introduction. Now, they started off in Georgia, but you say they're going to make their way uh, up the East Coast potentially. So when can we expect them to start to move in? And there's something about, I hear, they've got a, a pretty long lifespan or they can take on really the different changes in climates, which, you know, other, you know, types of spiders, you know, typically maybe die off in those colder months, but the Juro holds on. Yeah, so the uh, the spider, they they were originally introduced uh, 2013, 2014 is the um, original start date for the what we're calling the invasion. Um, and since then, they've sort of, they, they originally concentrated around the Athens, Augusta area, um, and since then have sort of spread out to encompass most of northeastern Georgia. Um, this, past, this past season, we saw them move into uh, Tennessee, through Tennessee, um, up into the lower parts of North Carolina. Um, and there have been some colonies there previously, but the larger uh, wave of Joros is sort of spreading further north. Um, and the reason that they're able to do that is because, like you said, um, they do have a little bit better cold tolerance. And so part of what, I, what our paper did is compared them to a native species within the same genus, a very closely related spider called the golden silk spider. Now this spider is native to the southeastern United States and it's pretty much restricted to, you know, uh, below the Mason-Dixon line. Um, and so we compared the Jorah spider to that spider. And what we found is that this spider compared to the golden silk spider is much better at surviving colder temperatures. Um, and their native range in southeastern Asia sort of encompasses the exact same latitudes uh, from 35 to 45 degrees latitude that the United States does, the continental United States. So with that information, it's not hard to, to sort of predict that the spiders can move further north. Um, and that's what we've seen. And in this coming season, we could expect to see them um, getting more into North Carolina, even into Virginia. Um, and just continuing but as up far from as there. It, yeah. Yeah. Wow, Benjamin, yeah, it it's, it's is, fascinating it stuff. Goes. Yeah. Thank you so much for the information. I feel like when we see scary stuff, having the facts makes it a little less scary. So, Benjamin Frick, thank you so much for joining us this morning here on Fox Weather. I'm Amy Freeze. Welcome to Fox Weather's YouTube page. We have more great videos on the way, so make sure to subscribe to stay updated on all things weather.